Shall we have a crack at the Tempest? I don't know, is it you? Yeah. Great. My favorite and color. Yes, <laughs> I like it too. Have we got a Prospero? I think both the people who are also with me are not here. I'll be Prospero okay. then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love Prospero. <laughs> okay, so it's a long scene. As some directors, in fact, I was talking to a director last night who said, oh, what a nightmare that scene is. Because it's a lot of chat, you know, a lot yeah. of narrative chat. But I think it's absolutely magic. Okay. Anyway, there's just been the big. Have you played it before? I've played Miranda, yes. So I'm like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. And they, yeah, they actually cut so much of it. So I was like reading it again. I was like, oh, we didn't say this, we didn't do this because it's obviously so long. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Why don't you come here and I'll okay. go there. And then. <laughs> um, so, now you come a little bit more downstage so that the camera can see you, yeah. Take your light, you know, because <laughs> the point is everybody's got to see you. We are in a big theatre, right? It's yeah. not just these guys. We're in a big theatre. This is what the verse is made for, right? A big yeah. place. So, the, the Tempest has just been roaring away in the background and you've actually just come running on. Yeah. Okay, go. <laughs> if by your art, my dearest father, you have put the wild waters in this war. Allay them. Okay. Big opening. Same thing here, very important. The line, do not breathe until you get to the end of the line. So it's, if by your art, my dearest father, you have, what have you done? You've put the wild waters, WW, yeah. right? Spit it out in this war, allay them, which is a, an order. Yeah. You're ordering me, okay? So those two lines are really intense. And it's like, you know, you're coming on in the middle of nowhere and it's yeah. a bit scary. But go for it. Okay. You know, we're all just going to be embarrassing. It doesn't matter. Okay? okay? <laughs> so try not to breathe until you get to the end of the line. And remember to try and keep the energy to the end of the line. My father used to say that actually the most important words in, a, in any line are at the end. Okay. So... What she's trying to say is, is it you who've done this horrible thing? Stop it, right? Yeah. But the hor is it you? Is it the end of the line? Okay, okay now I'll stop talking. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> if by your art, my dearest father, you have put the wild waters in this roar, allay them. Great. Except you ran on after have. Okay, okay, yeah. So that was really good. The wild waters was great, and you put the emphasis on a lay then, so that was great. But you have to mark the end of the line and keep it up. Okay. So um, you have to think fast, always. Yeah. And you have to think faster than the audience, otherwise they get bored. Yeah. Okay, so it's, it's hard work. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Off we go. And... If by your art, my dearest father, you have put the wild waters in this roar, allay them. Okay, put the wild waters. That's not uh, an iambic, is it? Okay. It's a spawn. Yeah. Is there anybody studying, sorry, to no. keep stopping you. Is there anybody studying rhetoric or um, poet poetic forms? Because there's anapest, dactyl, spondy, yeah. uh, a few others. Last year, yeah. huh? We were doing them last year. I think. Okay, well... When he breaks from being an iambic, which would have been do do, like a heartbeat, do do, do do, do do, do do, and says, put the wild waters in this world, there's a reason it's the heightened emotion. She's absolutely furious with her father. How dare you? What have you done? And you've got to somehow evoke that in a smooth way, remember what Hamlet said to the yeah. players. Now this is the paradox that's really difficult. Um, and the way that the verse will help you if you just concentrate on the rhythms and the alliteration and the assonance and the lines. It'll help you to be smooth. Okay, okay I'm sorry to keep talking so much, but have another go. Okay. If by your art, my dearest father, you have put the wild waters in this roar, allay them. Correct. Okay, so you Yeah. <laughs> the sky, it seems, were poured down stinking pitch, but at the sea, mounting to the welkin's cheek, dashes the fire out. Okay, stop there. Now there's a full stop in the middle of the line again. So that means you go slow okay. before it. But that the sea, mounting to the welkin's cheek, which is the clouds, isn't it? 
the ceiling is going right up there to the top of the fly tower, right? Mounting to the welkin's cheek and then you slow it, dashes the fire out. And then it's her suffering. But you, you have to slow. Anyway, okay. <laughs> so go from but at the sea. Okay. But at the sea, mounting to the welkin's cheek, dashes the fire out. Good. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I have suffered with those that I saw suffer. A brave vessel who had no doubt a noble creature in her, dashed all to pieces. Oh, the cry did knock against my very heart. Poor souls, they perished. Had I been any god of power, I would have sunk the sea within the earth, or it should have... Uh. This is difficult. Yeah. <laughs> but this is really important, because this is her saying, have you done this? If it had been me and I had power, yeah. or had been a god, I would, and then there's, that's at the end of the line, I would... And that gives you the chance to think, what would I have done? What would I have done to save these people? And you've got the moment there. I mean, it's just a miracle, this verse, because it, it, every single aspect of the verse is psychologically accurate. So I would, and then you think, what would I have done? And it's perfect. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Had I been any god of power, I would have sunk the sea within the earth, or ere it should the good ships have swallowed, and the fraughting souls within her... Be collected. No more amazement. I shouldn't breathe there. Tell your piteous heart. She says, the fraughting souls within... Go for that. And the fraughting souls within her... Be collected. No more amazement. Tell your piteous heart. There's no harm done. Oh, woe the day! Okay, no harm. Now that is a full line. There's no harm done, oh, woe the day, no harm. That's one okay. line. So this is what always, because the, the, you mustn't let the audience down with the rhythm. So if I say, no more amazement, tell your piteous heart, there's no harm done, oh, woe the day. no harm. Okay. Now if we say it like that, you think, well, you know, that sounds awfully kind of unnatural. But if we do it again, a little bit better practice, you will start to feel something. It's emotional when you listen to it. So if I say, um, no more amazement, tell your piteous heart, there's no harm done. Oh, woe the day! No harm. You see? Now you can feel the relationship between them. You can feel him trying to soothe her. Just from the fact that we're saying that in, without breaking it up in a proper line. It's because it's one iambic pentameter, mm -hmm. right? And that is all the way through. Whenever there are half lines, never let the ball drop. Always do it like that, and you will find that the audience are like, oh, because that's where the emotional charge is carried. Okay. <laughs>